Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be looking at NativeScript View with TypeScript and async await. Let's do it. I'm Alex Ziskin and I teach NativeScript courses at nativescripting.com. I recently posted a video on doing async await in TypeScript and native script for Angular and Core. And people have been asking me, John says, please make videos also using Vue. And Muhammad says, are you planning to make videos for us, Vue? So people are really digging Vue in native script and they wanna see how to do things in native script. So this video is for you. Here we're gonna take a look at using native script Vue with TypeScript. By the way, if you haven't seen that TypeScript video with Vue, check that out. That was my previous video in this channel. So let's take a look at how to use async await in NativeScript Vue. All right, here I have a Vue application, a NativeScript Vue application, and this is what it looks like. Basically, I created a NativeScript Angular application and just copied some of the code from there. So we have some starting code, and these are the football players in a list view. Here is a file called my service, and I have this get items function down here that returns a promise of an item array. If we take a look at what an item is, it's just an interface that has an ID and name and a role for each football player. So this function returns a promise of the item array. It resolves these items, which is a constant right here. And then it does a little processing. So we're filtering and we're returning only items with the ID of less than 10. So these and up. Okay. That's why we're only getting 10 people in here. Now let's look at the view components. So we have this app view, which is the root view component. When this component is created, we're using the created lifecycle hook to get the items and then assign those items to the local items property that we're passing into the my comp component right here. And my comp component just renders a list view, a native script list view that just displays the name for each of the players. Pretty simple, right? Now, this video is about async await. So how do we do that? Well, we have a promise chain here. These can get really nasty if we keep doing then and then keep processing the items. And as you saw in my other video for async await, one way to get rid of this is just using async await instead of promise chains. So let's convert this get items function into an async await type of function. I'm going to comment this out, but I'll just make a copy of this down here. This is going to be our async await version. So in order to convert this, I'm going to label the function as an async function. And then the first thing we're going to do is await this promise. So this promise that resolves the items. So I'm going to have a constant here that's going to be items. And I'm going to set it equal to await new promise. And it's going to resolve those items. Okay, so we're not going to go to the next line here until that promise resolves. So I can get rid of this then and just return items.filter. See how much cleaner that looks? No promise chains. We're just going to wait for this promise to complete before filtering. I'm going to save this and let's take a look. My app restarts and we have the same results. Now, just to make sure you're not thinking I'm cheating you here, let's change the filter down here to something else. So I'm going to say, let me filter by items where the item ID is greater or equal to oh, 20. So we're going to get these other players now. App restarts. And sure enough, we have the last six players shown. By the way, Alex Vidal is a football player. So there we go. We have async await working in your native script view application. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. It was nice and short. That's how you create native script view async await function calls so you can avoid those long promise chains. I got a question for you now. Do you prefer to use promise chains or do you prefer using async await? You can answer me down below or answer me on Twitter. I'm at Digitalix. You can just respond to me or you can send me a direct message over there. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to get updates on videos like this one uh, where I give you native script tutorials. Subscribe and put a little bell on it so that you get notifications. All right, till next time, folks. See you later.